What's new in EtherPad 1.1? The upgrade now is much easier. We've rewritten all the install scripts and we've checked your Java and Scala versions to ensure that they match prior to building EtherPad itself. We also moved a lot of the options into the config file which makes it making changes during the install and at a later date a lot easier. We've improved the admin interface massively and included a much easier to understand plugin manager. This way you can easily add new plugins or enable and disable existing plugins. Etherpad now supports import straight out of the box. So assuming that you've got open office, uh, then export will work as well. Pro version is now supported by default. Simply set your domain and your email address and then you'll be able to get started. Pro version gives the users the ability to manage their own pads and increase security options. A new plugin that we are excited to be introducing is pad cloning. Pad cloning means that you can easily create template pads and child objects which can be shared with other people without destroying your original pad content. When a new pad is created, it is populated with the author of the original pad and linked back. Read-only versions of pads tagged as public will automatically be added to a sitemap.xml file which can be easily added to your favourite search engine and used to optimise your etherpad site. We have written all the etherpad documentation from scratch, starting from the installation docs and all the way through to the plugin manager. We hope over the next few weeks to release plenty of YouTube videos with basic user guides. The new documentation is available on doc.etherpad.org and head over to etherpad.org to see our relaunch website that we hope to update regularly. We have made it super easy to rebrand your etherpad deployment with your company or site name. Simply edit one line in the config file and all changes are made site wide. This should help if you have to do a rapid site deployment. We feel your pain when it comes to debugging plugins for etherpad and we have listened to the community. We wanted to help you develop some great plugins for etherpad and we, so we have developed a debug plugin that will help you improve your etherpad debugging experience. Files can now easily be uploaded and embedded into pads, making sharing of external documents much easier. Files are stored locally off on the etherpad server and can be accessed through the etherpad interface. Images can now be easily inserted into etherpad pads, either by using the upload feature or by typing the URL of the image. Images appear in line with the text. This is great if you want to describe an image or to use an image to emphasise a point. Real-time recent changes allows you as an admin to see in real-time what's being edited on your etherpad site. This is linked through to the Twitter style tags plugin which allows pads to be categorised in a certain way. Hopefully this will give users an easy way to categorise their information. Pads can now be deleted from the site admin screen. This process happens instantly and is a great way for you to remove a pad that has been created either in error or has been abused. We have included three themes in the new version of Etherpad. First is the standard default theme which has been tweaked to be slightly more pretty and have better browser support. Secondly is a micro theme which has no branded or management content on the page. And finally is a nano theme which is a pure collaborative editor with no toolbar items. We still have some work to do on the theme framework but we hope that the three themes that we've used will be a good reference point and hopefully you'll be developing your own themes. We also hope to see some creative uses of both the nano and the micro theme when used as an embeddable object in other websites.